Hello everyone, today we're going to be checking out the Cubicle's brand new lube, Cubicle Labs Mystic. Alright, so along with the lube, we got a note about how to use it. So it says we proudly present Cubicle Labs Mystic, smoothness you can see, feel, and hear. Mystic is an upcoming lube with a unique blend of speed and smoothness. Unlike other lubes on the market, Mystic is plant-based and takes advantage of the unique lubricity of aloe to provide a lively and super comfortable experience. The enclosed lube is a near-production version of Mystic. The final product may differ in appearance. And then this just tells you don't eat it, obviously. Don't eat it. So we have a small bottle and it looks really shiny. It's kind of silvery in color. And you can see there's kind of like an air bubble here, so it's not very thin at all. So I brought a few dry cubes to try this lube in. This one is the MF3RS3, so not magnetized, just basically stock out of the box. I haven't done anything with this cube yet. I'm just going to put one drop of Cubicle Mystic in here. Alright, it's kind of gloppy. <laughs> it's kind of like, it's kind of thick, it just kind of pours out there. So let's go ahead and work it in and see how it feels. So I can definitely feel that it's gotten a bit smoother and certainly faster, um, but it doesn't feel like a huge difference, so I'm going to go ahead and put in another drop. So I actually just put an extra drop in on the side of the piece, uh, like on one of these edges here, on the side, rather than on the foot of the piece, and that actually made a huge difference in the feel. So I guess this lube definitely works best when you put it on the sides of the pieces rather than the feet. And the lube definitely helped the speed of the puzzle. It was pretty slow before, but now it's kind of like a bit faster, but still controllable. It didn't really change the sound of the cube too much. It still has a slightly high pitched clacky noise to it, but it feels super nice when I'm turning it. The turning feels like it's flowing a bit nicer now that I've put this lube in here, and it has a nice mix of smoothness and controllability. So I'm also interested in trying the lube in a magnetic cube. So here I have the Diane Tengyun M. Now the interesting thing is that this cube is already very fast, so I'm kind of curious to see how the speed will be affected. I'm going to put a drop right there on the side of the magnet. Real quick, I just got to admire how shiny that lube is. Look how pretty it looks. I put one other drop down at the feet level too. So let's go ahead and work that in. It kind of made the pitch um, of the turning a bit lower. So before this cube was really clacky and now it feels almost a bit more low pitched, kind of blocky sounding. I do have the cube on very loose tensions though. Um, so I don't know how that's affecting uh, the turning speed, but it does feel like it became a lot more controllable when I put the lube in um, because it was very, very fast before. It's, it's actually a kind of funny effect though because it had, I had a kind of slow dry cube and a very fast dry cube and it sped up the slow one and it slowed down the fast one so that they were both really like at a perfect speed. Now that we know what its effect is in a 3x3, I want to try it in something else. So here we have the Yushin Little Magic Square One. I'll have an unboxing coming about this cube soon, but I have not done any lubing to this cube since I've unboxed it. So I'm going to try out Lubical Mystic on the slice and on the UND layers and see what happens. To begin with, just to set a baseline, the top and bottom are very controllable and they have have a nice speed and a click because of the magnets and the slice is very very fast so I'm gonna put a small drop of mystic right there on the slice oh wow okay I didn't think it was possible for the slice on this cube to be any quieter or smoother uh, but apparently it is barely makes any noise now let's go ahead and put some on the top and bottom layers as well they're kind of tight though so I'm just gonna put it on the side here Okay, so it definitely sped up the top and bottom layers. Um, they're a lot faster than they were before, um, which is kind of nice though, because they were slower, like I said. The slice is extremely smooth, but it does feel like it's kind of at the same speed as it was before, still incredibly fast. Um, but there, it feels like there's absolutely no friction now, which is kind of crazy. Yeah, so the slice can still kind of spin. Honestly, the turning doesn't feel like it's changed too much. Um, so maybe you would need to combine Mystic with another lubricant um, to make it feel the best. Um, but it does feel like it's sped up the cube on the top and bottom layers, which is making it a lot easier to turn. Yeah, look at that. I can execute algs very smoothly now. The last thing I'm going to try it on is something with a bit more surface area, which is this uh, Galaxy V2 Megaminx. So I put a bit on the side of the piece and a bit on the foot. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, work that in. Just going to go ahead and scramble the cube. 
Okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's nice. I definitely do not have great Mega Minx finger tricks or turning speed or anything good about Mega Minx. Uh, but this <laughs> lube is really actually doing a really good job at uh, speeding this cube up. So as I'm slowly, slowly solving this Mega Minx, um, I'll go ahead and give you a couple uh, details about the way it has affected it. So on this Mega Minx, I only put in two drops, which is actually the same amount of lube that I put into the, the 3x3s. However, it does feel like it's had a bigger effect uh, than it did on the 3x3s immediately after I put it in. So it feels like the, uh, the whole Mega Minx has been affected by adding this lubricant. This is definitely a great lubricant that you can use right before you compete if you need to speed up your cube. I think it would probably work a bit better than DNM in that sense because it still makes the puzzle really controllable uh, after you put it in. So far I've definitely liked the effects that it had on the Mega Minx the best. We've seen some speed cubes that it has an amazing effect on. We've seen two 3 by 3s a square one, and a Mega Minx. And in all those cubes, it made the speed a lot more controllable and it also made it very, very smooth. But can it save a Rubik's Baron 3x3? This is my Rubik's Baron 3x3. So let's go ahead and see if Cubicle Mystic can save it. All right, I put two big drops in. Ugh, okay, let's work this in. Okay, yeah, so it sped it up a little bit, but what did you expect? It didn't do anything. But it's a Rubik's brand. It can't be saved. All right, so that's it for my video about testing the Cubicle Mystic. This lube is brand new and it'll be on sale very shortly. So if you're interested in getting some smooth, controllable cubes, I would definitely recommend using this lube. So I'd like to give a huge thank you to the Cubicle for sending me this lube to test out. If you'd like to buy it, there will be a link in the description so you can buy it right from their store. So that's about all I have for this video. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.